Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. What I've done is I've gone through the fridge to see what kind of ingredients I have in there that we can make a cocktail with, and I came across half and half. Milk, creamer, half and half, or almond milk is delicious for making cocktails. So let's make the mango creamsicle with the ingredients that I have here at home. Now let me walk you through all the ingredients that we need to make the mango creamsicle. Vanilla vodka, orange juice, master of mixes mango margarita daiquiri mixer, and of course, half and half. So let's get started with Here's three ounces of vanilla vodka and two ounces of orange juice. And this can be freshly squeezed orange juice or any kind of orange beverage if you want. Master of mixes, mango daiquiri margarita mixer. Here's another two ounces. Of course, we're using this because it's made with cane sugar, has real fruit from the world's finest growing regions. They actually bring mangoes in from India to make this product. It's absolutely delicious. And half and half. Here we go. You can use a fat-free half and half if you want. I always like to have a half and half that has some fattiness in it. Delicious, there we go. And we're gonna shake this up. Very good. All right, shake that up really hard. We wanna shake it up extra hard just in case you're a little nervous of the acids coming in from the juice mixing with the cream. We shake it up really hard, those blend in perfectly together. There we go. Couple of fancy champagne flutes. Keep them in the freezer if you want, make them nice and chill. Now when we're pouring this out, I wanna pour half and then come over to the other one. Just in case I didn't measure it properly, I would fill one up and come back and only have half of the other drink. So this way I can bring both drinks to the perfect level. I have a little mango. I've got some mango that I was uh, waiting to ripen up for another recipe we're working on. Just stole a little slice off of it and an orange zest. Cool curl. Looks so perfect. Looks delicious. There's the mango creamsicle. The creamsicle is a really fun way of making cocktails with half and half or creamer at home. But let's do something with coffee. Starting off with vodka. You can also use vanilla vodka if you wish. Your choice. This is cinnamon whiskey. One ounce of cinnamon whiskey. This could be coffee liqueur, it could be a hazelnut liqueur or an amaretto. And this cocktail is still going to work because the espresso mixer is so versatile. There's three ounces of that. Again, we're making two cocktails here, so this glass is going to get pretty full. And we'll smack them together so they stick and we'll give them a really good shake. One of the things you'll find when we're working with the espresso mix is that it froths. Okay, I've got my uh, glasses. I already iced them down just in a matter of getting to business with you guys today. And straining over top of fresh ice. Now, I'm not going all the way to the top on this because I promised some creamer. Let me show you how I can use the coffee press and the creamer. You can use any kind of creamer, whether it's fat-free or non-fat-free, totally up to you. So, I put the coffee press in here and notice how I can just froth up the creamer. Just adding some air to it makes it a little thicker. If you want to add some any kind of sweetener to that, you're more than welcome to, but it works great just as is. And if you don't happen to have one of these fancy little contraptions, you can just use a shaker, you can use a whisk and whisk it up uh, or shake it up, anything you want. So, here we go, I got a fancy spoon, a little bar spoon. It's gonna pour over top of the bar spoon. A little bit of cream on top. And you'll see that that is actually going to make a nice layer and then slowly start dropping into the drink. And if you have a more steady hand, pour over top of one of those ice cubes. 
I have some cinnamon and just a little saucer. Now you could use a, a paper towel, anything you want. Just want to tap that on and putting the saucer over top of that to actually create a bit of a design over top of the drink to make a little half moon on the drink. Looks really neat. Just adds a little bit more character to the cocktail when we put some fun garnish on top. All right, so there's another great cocktail made with half and half and other great cocktail ingredients that you have at home. I have to get these somewhere special. Thanks for joining me today. Ah, oh, it smells delicious.